So this this video probably was a little boring. Uh, we did learn a few things. Nothing super important other than cover your hay and hay rings are good. You got to see part of my shop, which you've seen before. It's a mess. So do me a favor. Uh, if you're watching this, even if it's for three seconds, like it, share it, uh, subscribe. We'll get some good entertaining content. Probably soon when the weather changes. Until now, y'all get to look at my messy shop until I clean it up. Which will be a wintertime project, I guess. Amazing thing is I have exercise equipment in here. <laughs> Maybe I should start video on exercise routines. Yep. Get out of the way and I'll go put it down for you. Quit sneaking bats. Come on, Ariel. Come on, darling. It's trying to rain on it. We're expecting pretty big storms this evening. I hope the weatherman's wrong. Oh, the mud is terrible out here. So, ha, gone. This is how much hay is left in the bottom of my hay ring. I think Garth's trying to move the hay ring. So there's very little waste with these poly rings and they don't really move them. I know some people have problems with it, and I'm sure Garth could pick it up and put it over his head and get in the middle of it if he wanted to. Couldn't you, Garth? Fix it, cut those strings, Ooh. quit. Oh, mood yourself. All right, here comes Molly. Let me get busy. But this year, I love my poly rings. Garth is not happy. I'm not letting him tear up the hay bale. Like he wants. Move. Another good reason they're not wasting as much hay as they did last year is I built that hay barn, shed, whatever you want to call it this year. So 90% of my hay does not get rained on. You see the sides are open so some of it blows in there but not, not a lot. Where last year, the year before, uh, it was all outside. It got rained on. I tried to tarp some of it but that didn't really work the way I had envisioned. So it's it's not uh, it's not getting wet. It's not getting moldy. This time last year, probably was a quarter of the way through my roll from hay. Uh, this year I am ah, not even a quarter way through it yet. So that has helped tremendously. But it's fixing to start getting cold. I guess finally maybe. Start feeding more. I've got enough to last and have some left over, so there's no need making them wait on hay or do without. I guess it's more like it. Now to pull one off the top. I didn't quite build it tall enough. Get that one out without breaking the rafter. If 
further back I go, the lower the roof is, and I broke a raft for putting this stuff up. So there's a difference between my bales. Uh, the one I put out first was out of my baler, which is an old Ford, I think it's a 556 baler. This one is out of a M&W something. Uh, my hay partner has, uh, they're both old bailers, but they work good. That one I can shake and it'll just fall completely apart. For mine, I can shake the top off of it. The rest of it is still one intact roll. I think everybody that's over here is enjoying that one. I made them happy. Merry Christmas. I'm not sure who that is. for today. Poly pipe hay rings, good. Even for longhorn cattle. Uh, round, round bells in the south, although they say you can keep them outside uncovered. And you can. You still lose about 20% of your hay because it gets wet and moldy down that far. I am very happy and very pleased with my hay this year, being under a roof. So if you got the means and you can build a barn, if you don't have one, do it. It is very much worth it. Go back and park my tractor and get ready to put a little feed out for them this evening. Get ready for the storms to come. back to work tomorrow. Yay, work.